Hello, my name is Mel Stevenson and it's my pleasure to welcome you to my new YouTube channel. So I've had type 1 diabetes for the last 14 years. I've been on injections and I've also been on an insulin pump for seven of those years. Now I've been on more than one type of insulin pump, which is one of the reasons that I was really keen to take part in the Medtronic MiniMed 640G trial for the next 64 days. So every week or so I'm going to be bringing you a different video as I put the pump through its paces. I'm going to be looking at how it responds to day-to-day -day life, activities and also sport. I'm an international level athlete. My sport is athletics, the 100 and 200 meter sprints, for which I represent in my country on over 25 occasions. So if I can find a pump that keeps up with my sport, I'm going to be really pleased because diabetes shouldn't rule your life, it should be just a part of your life. This pump is the Medtronic MiniMed 640G. I've been trialing it for the last two weeks. So I didn't want to do a blog straight away when I was getting to know the pump because I wanted to understand and for my body to get to know it before I could give a true reflection on what it's been like. The pump is really innovative. Um, and it's really user friendly as well, I found so far. The reason I say that it's innovative is that it works in a bit of a kind of loop system that you've got a blood glucose monitor that talks to the pump, you wear a sensor that also talks to the pump and you've got the pump itself. So that means that on the pump you can set parameters in which you want your blood glucose ideally to kind of remain in. So for me, I feel a hypo from about 4.0 millimoles um, and below, and I so I put that as my low parameter for hypos, and for highs, I've set 15 millimoles as my high alert. So when the sensor is moving, it can feel that my blood glucose levels are moving towards the high or the low. It warns me with arrows and sounds as well. And then if it does still reach the low or the high, it alerts me and tells me to do something about it. Now one of the really innovative things about this pump is that when you start going low, it's able to suspend the insulin that it's given you. Now, it doesn't do that without telling you or anything like that, it tells you on the screen. So you can choose to, if you're about to eat or if you're about to treat the hypo, you can choose to return your basal if you want to. Everybody's diabetes is different. But for me, I've allowed the pump to suspend while I'm going hypo. And so far in the last two weeks, I can honestly say that I think it's avoided about 90% of the hypos that I would have experienced. Now, at the moment, it's off-season in athletics, but I will be working my way back up to high-intensity training, which is perfect for trialing a pump because you want to get all of your background insulin and everything sorted and then start putting it to the test. So I look forward to telling you more about the features of the pump. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, then please click subscribe. Alternatively, you can check out my Twitter or my Instagram, the details for which are on the screen. And you can also have a look at my blog, which is available at melaniestevenson.co.uk. And it's just a day-to-day -day look at life, sport and diabetes. Thank you.